Now I am discussing about the declarative react.js. If you open the react official site, it says it is declarative. In this discussion, I will compare the declarative and imperative behavior or approach and will explain how React is declarative. Let me simply explain the declarative and imperative approach. Imagine you want your friend to clean your desk. Scene number one is about declarative approach and the second scene is about the imperative approach. So when you have to say that you want your desk to be clean, you just inform your friend that, hey buddy, please clean this desk. The desk is cleaned, provided you have a nice friend. The second scene, that is the imperative approach, where you just say that, hey buddy, take the keyboard, mouse and other stuff off the table. Now take a clean cloth and liquid cleaner. Now spray it on the table, mop it, and put the things back. Now if your friend doesn't know how to clean the desk, imperative approach is required. But React is your that friend who knows how to clean the desk. With declarative, you just tell what to do and in imperative, you also tell how to do it. That is too much of instructions or in other words, coding steps. With React, you create a component and tell that how you want the DOM to be and rest is handled by React. Let's take this example. Here, when you click on this calculate button, it shows the sum here and it also shows the same value, let's say somewhere here. That means there are two places where you have to show some data. So with the imperative approach, that is with JavaScript, it goes something like this. You take reference of this text box using document.getElementById. Then you take reference of this text box and also reference of this label. Now you write the logic to calculate the sum on this button. So you write the click event and the references which you have gathered from these two text boxes, you add up the value and you assign to this label. So here also you have taken a reference and you assign the value. When you click the button, all these things happen and still this value is not updated actually if you have returned with JavaScript. So if you want to update this value, Certainly again you will have to take reference of this label as well and then you will assign the new calculated value to the label. Now the same thing if you try with react, you take a state which is presented here and here. So by changing the state, the sum, it will update automatically everywhere. So you just asked react to have sum and react updates the DOM. This is what a declarative approach is.